Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to show you my quest to make the strongest bow in Tears of the Kingdom. By the end of this video you'll see every step of how I got a bow with over 1000 damage. Maybe this will even spark your own ideas of how you can make something really strong or broken. I mean this Hinox didn't even get to stand up before he died. Poor guy. Anyways, let's get into all the buffs that we have. I'll have a running tally at the bottom of my screen as we go to keep track of all the buffs. First thing we have is the Radiant Armor set to give a 1.8 times to all bone weapons. Next I set off to get the Royal Guards bow which has the highest single shot damage of any bow in the game. I took a stamina elixir so I could glide a little bit longer. Then I used the Lookout Landing Sky View Tower so I could glide all the way over to Hyrule Castle. I took some extra stamina items along the way just so I could glide all the way to where I needed to go. But there are many ways to get up here. You could also just fly up here with a vehicle. Once I got to the front gate, I just ran into the castle and took this left stairwell over here. You keep climbing these stairs then over here to your left you'll be able to find a royal guards bow there's some arrows here as well so now we have another piece of our setup and we'll be using gibdo bones to fuse to this with 40 fuse attack power in order to bring out our armor sets bonus next i headed up to the siba jitak shrine which is to the northeast of Goron City. The reason I came up here is because I need an Octorok to give a certain upgrade to a Lionel's bow to do the next step of this. The reason I needed to use a Lionel bow is because a Lionel bow has three times the arrow shot initially and you can get an upgrade on it from an Octorok that will give you a 5 times arrow shot if you get a tier 2 upgrade. So this one's been upgraded once. He decided to shoot it off to the moon so it took me a little while to find the bow. <laughs> And we got the upgrade, so now we have 5 shot burst on this Lionel bow and we're ready for the next step. For the next step I needed to do a glitch to move the upgrade on one bow to another bow. So first we have our back up against a wall, then we equip our royal guards bow. After that go over to your melee weapons and drop a couple of those. Go back to your bows. Now you want to equip your Lionel bow that has the five shot burst on it. Drop the Lionel bow and then equip your Royal Guards bow. Now press pause twice really fast and then drop your Royal Guards bow. Pick everything back up and now we have a five shot burst on our Royal Guards bow. Also shout out to Monfax because that's who I saw the upgrade swap glitch from. So now we can add a multiplier of times five to the damage we'll be doing, which puts us at a really high number right now, but we're going to get it even higher by cooking a dish with five mighty bananas, which is going to give us another 1.5 times multiplier to our attack. Now we have the Royal Guards bow with a Gibdo bone on it and a 1.8 times multiplier from our armor set, the Radiant armor set. 
We also have five times arrow shot from using an upgrade swap to put our five times arrows from our Lionel's bow onto our Royal Guard's bow. And finally, we're going to eat a five mighty banana dish to give a 1.5 times multiplier on top of all of it, bringing our grand total to 1,215 damage per shot. I decided I needed an enemy that was a little stronger than the Henox at the beginning of this video to test it on, so I figured I would try the Flame Gleok. It was kind of hard to get all five arrows to hit the Flame Gleok up in the air, once he was on the ground, it was pretty easy to hit all five shots on him, though. I was ultimately able to one cycle him with this bow. It would have been even easier to one cycle him if I had more stamina so I could slow down time a little longer and get more free shots while in the air. But I was still able to one cycle him with this bow, even though I'm still yet to do a single stamina upgrade. After I killed the flame Gliok, I wanted to test out how good it would be on a Lionel. Once I was able to knock him down once and get close to him, he died really fast. So there's one and two shots with Gibdo Bones used. Also, it only uses one Gibdo Bone when you shoot with this too. I really hope that you guys appreciate this video. It took a very long time probably about 10 hours just to get my armor upgraded and unlock the fairy fountains and stuff for this. So if you would like to subscribe to my channel, I would really appreciate it. If not, I still appreciate you watching. Thanks.